everyone, it's Adrian Leah. I wanted to make a video showing one of my big deals that I got for my next knitting project. I'll show the whips that I have and some witchy things too. So, I went to Dollar Tree because I wanted to see if I could get little things um, for the holidays, and I heard they had yarn there. I wasn't sure what type of yarn. I am particular about what it's made out of. So, when I saw that they had yarn that had a good percentage of cotton, I was checking to see how much they had of one color because I thought it would be great if I could get a good amount of one color so it could be for a color work project specifically one with a main color and one with a contrasting color and I wanted to get one for the festive pullover that I'm going to make into a cardigan. It's another skein deer and it's pattern that I love. I'm going to start it when I finished one of the other patterns that she has out, the um, Ultra Worsted Cardigan. So the yarn that I got at the dollar store was a little more than a dollar, but they had the Premier's Just Cotton. It's 87 yards and it's 50 grams. It's 85% cotton and 15% polyester. So I thought that was a great percentage for cotton because it's so breathable. I got the Colorway Sage. I love the color and I got the ones that they had there, so there were 20 of them, and so I was able to get the main color for the next cardigan for under $30, which is amazing. And I got 20 of them, so that's over 1,700 yards for the main color, and for these full color work projects, it takes up a lot of yarn, especially with the floats that are on the inside of your garment, so I'm ecstatic. I am going to pair it with another colorway that I got when the local yarn shop was closing. So it's the Lion Brands. This is an alpaca yarn that I haven't seen in store and online. This is a higher percentage alpaca than the ones that they have out now. And this is over um, 400 yards of these and they're 50 grams each. And so this is a perfect amount for the 
contrasting yarn. So it's a gray color and I'll pull these two up. It's not super clear, but I will do different things with where I'm, I'm making my videos, so sometimes it'll be in different locations and then using different uh, things to film with, so the bedroom also is not bright, so I have the TV just above, so you'll see the fluctuations in lighting. Um, The other things that I got in Dollar Tree, I loved getting these bottles when I was in New England and they have nice colors that you could do different things with. And I also got these bottles with shells. So those were the things that I got at Dollar Tree. I also wanted to show one of my bags. I have another version of this bag by the same creator, but I love the embroidery and it's such a nice size. So I'm on the sleeve of the Ultra Worsted cardigan. I love the way that it's turning out and it fits nicely. I'm doing three quarter sleeves. I tend to like that when I'm making my garments. And Bri wanted a Christmas stocking, so I'm making a Christmas stocking with the Ella Ray Cozy Alpaca and the Ultra Worsted Cardigan is made up of the Ella Ray Cozy Alpaca too. I love the way that it's turning out. I love the Latvian braid at the top. You can see the trees. I'm almost finished. Then I have a uh, deck bag that I'm making. So I love the way that it's turning out. I'll put more time into it once I finish the stocking. But this is going to hold two decks. It's another color work project.
It's knitting up nicely. This is a Latvian pattern. I love the yarn. It's from a set. I have a book that I've pre-ordered. It's the same knitwear designer as the one that designed the Birth of the World, the Schleppnir. That is my purple and black cardigan. Which is a pullover. I love the pattern. I have more El Rey Cozy Alpaca that I got on a sale. And the Ochoors did. I got all on a sale too. Um, it's a discontinued yarn, so I've been fortunate to find that. But I wanted to make some adjustments, but I love the one that I made. I, I wear it a lot. So this is the Kelvala, Kelvala, um, Knitted Kelvala by Jenna Kostet. I'm so sorry. I love her patterns. The one that I'm going to make is that's in the lineup of things is the Coltonet Cocky. There's the punctuated spelling, but this is the pullover, which I'm going to make into a cardigan because I like just put, putting it over something or if I want to take it off and um, not be as warm, I could do that. but. There's some patterns that I am planning on making on as just a crop sweater. I might go down to maybe three quarter length sleeves, but I'm really excited about this book. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was interesting and I'll see you in another video.